those uh, individuals who've left uh, recently um, have done so having provided stalwart service to, to, the, to the public sector. You know, we are going through a period of, of change um, and reform. I think some of the individuals have reflected on, on um, where, what that means for them as, as uh, individuals and, and where they would sort of sit in, in the future as we push forward. As I said, this absolute need now. <laughs> to reform government and streamline its, uh, its focus and make sure that we're delivering properly. We've talked about it for years. We are actually going to get on with that now. Uh, I'm very grateful for all, all the work that uh, individuals who've chosen to, to depart and whether that's just been natural retirement or, or whether it's been their view that, that they, you know, their roles have sort of come to a natural end. I'm very grateful to them and, and we've got to move on and we've got to push forward now to, to, to put government into a much better position. I think it's probably fair to say that uh, I feel the organisation has become lazy, and, and that's not a, a criticism of individuals. I just think the organisation itself has forgotten some principles around good governance, uh, has failed to... Uh, ..perhaps make sure that the basics are being done in terms of how people are looked after. Really want to make this an organisation where people are proud to work, they understand their roles, they're unable to get on. Um, and, and we try to cut out uh, some of the problems that, that, that exist in, in delivery, some of the problems that have been, been highlighted today. And you know, that, that's what I'm looking forward to trying to, to, to build in the next 12 months. Mm -hmm.